Hi, I'm Alex Lippen from Brouwerheid Verzet, located in Anzehem in West Flanders. A lot has changed since we last, the Burenians last interviewed you about three or four years ago. What's happened uh, to the brewery and what do you consider the evolution has been? So, yeah, a lot of things have happened with uh, all those crises. Uh, last year we did a big jump by uh, buying out our silent investors. So now we're 100% uh, independent, what gives a, a morale boost to, uh, for ourselves in these tough times of uh, finding our way uh, of growth. Uh, what has changed to our uh, beer uh, Hama is that uh, we don't do so many experiments anymore. Uh, we have to think more about what we're doing and not just make, make, make. Uh, even we're here at Bruges Beer Festival and you can try like 25 beers. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it's been a rethink of the uh, way you approach the business? I guess you're in your maturity now. It's been, what, nine years, ten years since you've been... Well, you, start, you said you started out first as a gypsy brewer, then you got your own brewery, and yeah. now you've evolved to a new, a new stage in the life. Yeah, uh, it really is. Uh, and now we have a business plan. Before we just started the brewery without a business plan, and now we have like plans uh, um, and do statistic uh, stuff. Um, and I yeah. know, and I know from experience that that's always tough when you start going, "Hey, we've got to professionalize this a bit, and we've got to be able to know." where we're going before we channel our priorities because there's so many things you can do. Yeah, it is. And luckily we are already 10 years, have a brewery uh, and had made a lot of mistakes. Uh, and you feel that uh, adults could, that we, well, if you started, if your brewery is now only two years, it's, uh, it's tough to be, uh, to brew uh, and to try to make a living out of it. Especially when you have, it's basically three partners, right? Or, yeah. yeah. Right. And how is that working out? I mean, that's also the other side of the thing, to be remain good pals, but be professional towards each other. Whoops! There's somebody broken glass. A lot of broken glasses there. Not like Wonderless. You can throw those glasses down on the ground and they won't break. So, yeah, we have, uh, with our team, we have a... Uh, a good magic going on uh, and we love to work together and have a brainstorm and uh, plan our ideas uh, for the future. And what is the business plan? Is it to continue the way you are or is it to consolidate what you have now and then think of new ways or is it competitive? Do you, do we, you we want to be the most rock and roll brewery of Belgium and uh, find our way in bars uh, all around Belgium, uh, but slowly but surely. Uh, so we don't want to double in the next five years. So yeah, a little bit consolidating and small growth is the plan. And luckily we don't have to invest uh, a lot the, the next few years. Uh. And you mentioned the strategy was also you know, focusing on not so much experimental beers, so much, you know, you still do it, yeah. but so. consolidating your range and thinking about... And also, uh, now we made a, a alcohol-free beer, uh, listen more to the market what they want, but we want to do it with our vibe, with the Verzet twist on it. Uh, and, and what is the Verzet twist? Uh, edgy rock and roll, that's uh, how we approach our beers. And uh, you mentioned uh, exports have dropped off, and how have you, what's your strategy to react to that? Um, for us, export was always an extra, um, and just watch the numbers. And luckily, we focused on Flanders, and we will keep on doing that. Uh, so think local, but uh, go global when you can? Yeah, yeah. So that's, if it's low hanging fruit, uh, we're gonna take it, but we're not focusing on export markets. 
because if you invest in that, it can drop like uh, within a year, uh, it can stop. And how many employees do you have now? Is it still three of you guys? And like we are uh, with four full-time people working for the brewery. Right. Uh, and do you, do you, what's your current production? I mean, you recovered from COVID, obviously, but... This year, we're going to go for uh, 2,700 hectoliters. Uh, and, and do you foresee that? Is that pretty well the capacity of your brewery? Or we, you we can make uh, 5,000 uh, so, in the tank capacity. Right. Uh, but a good volume, we want to be as fast as possible uh, to 3,000, 3,500. And then it's going to be chill. Because uh, you all have families now. You've grown up at the market. And you yeah. also need uh, to pace yourself because you, a lot of brewers are suffering burnout from, you know. Yeah, we want to uh, also yeah, see our kids and our wives. We don't want to change wives. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we also have to invest time in, in our uh, yeah, family yeah. and our private. That's why we also don't do like 30 beer festivals anymore. We focus on what we do and what we don't do. Uh, yeah, because it's amazing to me to see from when I first started doing this and coming to Bel you know, and living in Belgium to see the craft scene explode and now everybody is kind of maturing into, let's say, quote, adulthood a bit. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of babies being born at this stage from all the early craft brewers and uh, people are realizing they need a balance, I guess. Yeah, yeah, but because you can always work and all do every weekend a beer festival, so, uh, yeah. And also make crazy beers. <laughs> yeah, <and laughs> every week, yeah. <laughs> Well, great. You've had a lot of fun coming here. Are you still going to have more fun going forward? Yeah, sure. And that's the idea. Having fun uh, until uh, our uh, retirement. And uh, and you'll keep going the style. And what, what, what would you sum up for the people looking at this right now as the kind of your philosophy, the three of you? You say rock and roll, but uh, what does that mean to you? Uh, do what you love to do um, and don't think what other people are gonna think about you just when you feel it just do it and that's uh, what we want to do uh, um, and don't follow the masses uh, have your own thoughts uh, about stuff well that's the beer reading way as well <laughs> and much thanks and here we're gonna have a cheers to you and cheers and one of my favorite breweries <laughs> in Belgium thank you, thank so you. Much.